everyone and welcome to this session on what is data fabric by intellipart but before we begin with the session please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates from us did you know according to gartner data fabric is identified as one of the top 10 data and analytics technology trends for 2022 in simplest terms a data fabric is a single environment consisting of a unified architecture and services or technologies running on that architecture that helps organizations manage their data the ultimate goal of data fabric is to maximize the value of your data and accelerate digital transformation in this session you will learn all about data fabric so without further ado let's begin with the session let's see what our agenda is first we will discuss what is a data fabric and how does it work then we will discuss its capabilities and the principles involved moving on we will see why is it needed further on we will discuss some of the business use cases then we will discuss how security is the most important factor then we will see how data fabric promotes multi cloud environment finally we will discuss its benefits now let's see what is a data fabric and how does it work a data fabric is an architecture that houses technology and services that aid in data management relational databases tagged files flat files graph database bases and document stores can all be used to store this information a data fabric architecture makes it easier for data centric tools and applications to access data while interacting with different services odbc hdfs rest apis posix nfs and others are examples of these a data fabric architecture must also be able to accommodate an evolving standards the architectural approach geographical locations data use case data process and deployment platforms are irrelevant to a data fabric organizations can use data fabric to strive toward one of the most cherished goals that is having real time access to the right data with end to end governance at a reasonable cost now let's take a look at the capabilities and principles traditional data management ideas like data ops focus on the operationalization of massive and scattered data assets whereas the data fabric focuses on the capabilities and unite varied and distributed data assets to put it another way most organizations use data ops frameworks to design develop and maintain a distributed data architecture it aids in the interpretation of data created and preserved in a highly dispersed architecture the end to end data management procedures are combined when a unified data management platform architecture such as data fabric is introduced some of the end to end data management procedures are data integration data integration is bringing together data from several sources and giving people a single view on it next we have data discovery it is a process of gathering and analyzing data from diverse sources in order to identify trends and patterns in the data next we'll talk about data governance it is a phrase that can be applied at both the macro and micro levels the first is a political notion that is related to international relations and internet governance while the second is a data management concept that is related to corporate data governance next we have data curation the organizing and integration of data acquired from multiple sources is known as data curation it entails annotating publishing and presenting data in such a way that the data's value is preserved throughout time and the data is available for reuse and preservation lastly we'll talk about data orchestration data orchestration it automates data management operations such as bringing data from many sources together integrating it and preparing it for analysis it can also encompass duties such as resource provisioning and monitoring all tasks are managed through a unified platform architecture that makes accessing managing and controlling distributed data assets easier a data fabric can incorporate a variety of data management capabilities in the logical domains some of them are 
semantics, knowledge, and insights. Users can discover and retrieve relevant data well, thanks to semantic layers of descriptions. In the form of a marketplace, access to a worldwide pool of data assets, analytical monitoring of ever-increasing data sets, advanced AI systems are being used to connect business relationships between data from many applications. End-to-end -end data management visibility allows you to access numerous data properties and risks. Next, we have compliance and governance in one place. Metadata management on a local level in accordance with global organizational principles that apply to all datasets. Automation and AI capabilities complement data tracing and root querying, making it easier to apply policies and check compliance, as well as discover potential system breaches. Across all environments, the whole data governance and security process is centralized and standardized as well. Next, we have intelligent integration. Across distributed data and infrastructure environments, the design, deployment, and use are all integrated. For siloed data environments, automated flow and pipeline construction is available. Schema drift correction and optimal task distribution, ingestion of new data assets by self-service within preset policies, infrastructure that is future-proof, platform, and application agnostic. Lastly, we have orchestration and lifecycle management. Self-service orchestration of diverse data sources with advanced AI systems, data lakes, and other platforms and technologies that provide a holistic view of the data pipeline across all data environments. Data-driven applications use a unified data lifecycle to configure and manage all parts of the data including development, operations, testing, and production release. Now let's see in today's digital environment, why do you need a data fabric? Well, data fabrics enable enterprises to make better use of their existing data infrastructures without having to rewrite every application or data storage from the ground up. But why is a data fabric important in today's world? Organizations are dealing with scalability and complexity concerns. Their IT systems are now advanced just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud and DevOps. It is taught by IIT professors and industry experts with more than 10 years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. Now let's continue with the session. Allowing them to manage existing applications as well as modern microservice based applications in a variety of contexts. A data fabric aids in the following shown tasks. Multiple settings including on-premises, cloud, and hybrid can be managed at the same time. To connect to any data source, you can use pre-packaged modules. Strengthen your data preparation, data quality, and data governance skills. Improve data integration between sources and applications. Now let's discuss some of the business use cases of data fabric. First up, we have improving machine learning, that is ML models. A data fabric's architecture flexibility is beneficial in a variety of ways. Let's discuss some of the instances. Machine learning models increase the learning capacities when the proper data is provided to them in a timely manner. Data pipelines can be monitored using machine learning algorithms, which can also be used to identify appropriate linkages and integrations. Getting the data ready is one of the most time-consuming aspects of training ML models. By lowering data preparation time, a data fabric design aids in the more efficient usage of machine learning models. Next business use case we have is creating a holistic customer perspective. Businesses can use a data fabric to collect data from client interactions and figure out how to provide additional value to customers. This might involve combining real-time data from various sales operations, the time it takes to onboard a customer, and KPIs related to customer happiness. Now, let's take a look at our next agenda, that is security. A good data fabric installation requires a very high level of security. With so many cyber attacks resulting in millions of dollars in losses, safeguarding your data at all stages is critical to de deploying your data fabric design properly. This can be dealt with in a variety of ways. Encrypting data while it is in its transit and at rest. 
using private link on Azure and AWS to protect your networking traffic from the public internet. Keeping secrets and keys safe in the cloud. Multi-cloud environment. The value proposition that the data fabric gives. In IT environments with dynamic data demands distributed across globally distributed infrastructure systems, data fabric architecture is very useful. In today's cloud-based enterprise IT environment, the data fabric architecture provides the following benefits. A real hybrid cloud experience is made available. Organizations can use data fabric to address the technical constraints of managing a broad portfolio of data of data storage and infrastructure deployments. Customers can choose from a variety of hybrid IT infrastructure resources to run mission-critical data-driven IT services, apps, storage, and access based on changing technical and business requirements. Then we have seamless transitions to the cloud. To handle data stored in several places, Data Fabric is designed to minimize disruptions caused by switching between the cloud suppliers and computational resources. As a result, Data Fabric drastically decreases the time it takes to get insights. Organizations can do the following with faster insights. That is, recognize patterns in data, make proactive decisions, etc. Businesses may outspace market competitors by improving compute performance across all data channels, allowing them to make the most of their data investments. High performance and data investments that are optimized. Organizations devote tremendous resources and efforts to ensuring that their apps and services work optimally. This is especially true for mission-critical programs that may be expected to process an increasingly amount of data as the user base develops or to handle unpredictable peak usage demands. Organizations must also invest in cloud storage solutions that offer the appropriate performance levels in order to meet these needs. Similarly, the software or service could become a legacy solution in the future, lowering the utilization need. In any case, the app should be able to give predictable results regardless of whether the data is available at a storage site with a lot of space, infrastructure for low-cost economy storage. Organizations may take advantage of this feature and optimize their data investments based on changing app usage requirements using Data Fabric. Now let's take a look at the benefits. The following commercial value of capabilities that make up a unified Data Fabric architecture is shown in the Forrester New Technology Projected Total Economic Impact 2020 study. We have 459% increase in returns of investment, $5.8 million business benefits on average, 60 times accelerated data delivery, 20 times faster customer affinity analysis. By tackling the technical constraints of managing data services in a multi-cloud and hybrid IT environment, Data Fabric provides enterprises with a variety of business value and proposition. That's it for this video. Thank you. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud and DevOps. It is taught by IIT professors and industry experts with more than 10 years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.